Good morning, everybody. It is November 25th. It's 5.30 my time. 5.40 my time, actually. 7.40 Eastern time. And it's a new day. It's a new day for crypto. Another day, another coin to be made. And um, me, along with all the patient wolves out there, are patiently waiting on XRP to make a move next. It's very exciting times. I'm excited. You should be too. You shouldn't be scared. It falls down. We don't get scared. We don't operate off of fear. You can never control the market. You don't react to the market. You anticipate it. You anticipate a fall. You anticipate a run up. You anticipate it resisting at the 70 cent. You anticipate it to form some sort of support. It's all about positioning and probability. It's like everything else in life. So that's what we talked about here yesterday. When we saw the big fall here, everybody starts selling. But we said we're going to go sideways for a bit, form some sort of an ascending triangle or descending triangle, a bull flag. And that's what it's doing right now. Went up, found support 21 EMA. Shop right back up, went back again to test the uh, 73, 74, 75 cent. Went back down again, but it formed a higher low. And it looked like the 21 EMA didn't, didn't hold, but it found support around the 60 cents. And now it's going back up. Most likely it's going to hit the ceiling again at the 70 cent, 71 cent. And go back down and just kind of play for a bit until it reaches an apex, which looks like it's probably going to be sometime end of the day today, tomorrow morning. And two things can happen. Because just like I said, it's never for certain. And you should never trade based off 100% expectation of it going your way. You should always anticipate a worst case scenario. That's just that's just, that's just the way it is. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get here. It's either that it's gonna go up, break above, and keep going. Just exactly what happened here before. This is our first run up that we had. Same exact thing. Shot up and found resistance around the. 47 48 cents and start going back down up hit the ceiling again down up and then as soon as it broke above it and it closed above it people went in and went straight to the moon so if you took your profits already congratulations you know on the profits if you entered early on the 30 cent before the major breakout Congratulations too. If you're still holding, that's pretty good. Um, if you haven't entered an XRP trade, saw a lot of people commenting yesterday if they should or shouldn't. If you want to wait for a bit, just like I said, want to be patient. Want to wait and enter at a breakout just so for you to get some sort of a confirmation. You know, you don't want to enter now and see it wobbly. Um, I would still enter, but depends. Depends how you you should know yourself and how you react to certain, you know, corrections in the market. Everybody has their own personality when it comes to trading. So, if you want to enter an XRP trade and you want to be a bit more sure about it, then I would say wait until it hits the ceiling again and wait for it to break above. And you want to see a candle break above it and close above it. One hour candle would be good. It would be better on the four hour candle, but I don't think you'd see the triangle there that well. Yeah, it's going to be too. But I mean, if it closes above and that's where you'd enter. Then have your stop loss on the bottom somewhere here. I would give it a lot of wiggle room because it's very volatile. You don't want to get stopped out. And... um See what happens. Yeah. It's like I said, you can never control the market. So you just position yourself properly. 
So, once again, if we go to the one day chart, volume still looking amazing. Right here, we're still stuck in that triangle, obviously. Um, it's very volatile. We still have 11 hours for the daily chart to close, but looks like that RSI is oversold. Magdi's kind of flattening out, flattening out, but no signs of a pullback, a major pullback. But then again, we'll see how, how what happens after. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, we'll keep you updated if there's anything major that happens. If you if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe it. It really helps out the channel. And um, yeah, have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.